So today is July 5th. It's been a solid two weeks where I've been in this lull. While I don't want to share all of the challenges I'm experiencing, there is one significant one and that is just everything opening back up. It's caused me so much anxiety. I think I just got so comfortable staying home, meeting in smaller groups. My introverted side was just loving the new normal. With the vaccine and everything, the numbers are looking better and just things are naturally opening back up. I don't really know exactly where I'm going with this but if you're feeling anxious too with plans being made again, events that had to be postponed are now happening. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just know you're not alone. We were living a certain lifestyle for over a year and now that suddenly we're having to readjust. I took an HPF class and it reminded me a very important lesson. HPF challenges you to hold these balancing postures for like 45 seconds to a minute, sometimes even longer. When I first took this class, for example, ego pose, I felt anxious to reach the finished posture right away. And if I didn't immediately get into the final expression, I would feel frustrated or easily give up instead of trying again or trying slower. What I'm trying to say is taking that class reminded me how important it is to endure through these challenges. As much as you don't want to, as much as you feel anxious to reach the end or even to just get out of whatever challenge you are experiencing, it's so important to endure in order to find that strength, in order to test yourself. You have to go through the challenge because without the challenge there would be no reason to find that strength there would be no reason to test yourself to push yourself to find your edge and that was such an important realization for me especially during this emotional time we all know that hard times make us stronger but it's difficult because in the moment you don't want to go through those challenges it's not like you want to suffer it's not like you want to struggle try your best to remove yourself from the situation and look at yourself from an outside perspective look at yourself like you're a fly on the wall and just observe how you are responding in that moment observe yourself what are you feeling why are you thinking those thoughts why do you want to react that way are you sure you want to make that impulsive decision that's been helping me a lot to ground down to see myself almost from like a best friend perspective if my best friend was going through this challenge and was acting this way or was feeling down what would I say to her what advice would I give her give that same advice to yourself sometimes we're nicer and give better advice to our friends and to ourselves. We're in month seven, it's July. So we're officially more than halfway through 2021. Another announcement I wanted to make is I am going to remove the expectation for myself to upload weekly workouts to YouTube. To be completely honest, it has been a little bit stressful for me because I just added another class at Yoga Room onto my schedule. Having to sequence three different Yoga Room classes and then and sequencing a unique class for YouTube is a lot for me in addition to the jobs and, and life in general. So I decided that I'm going to try my best to still upload weekly, but it may not always be a workout. I want to upload weekly, but workouts are something that I put a lot of work into and a lot of energy and I hate to post something that I rushed. And I hope you understand because I know many of you have missed the four times a week upload. It's just honestly a lot of work. I do want to keep the quality of the workouts there and not just put out workouts every week that are just mediocre. I just love filming content. It's very fun for me. It's just my creative outlet. It relieves a lot of stress. For now, I just need a level set for myself and take it easy for a little bit before I can go all out for you guys again. <laughs> Speaking of uploading other content, I want to create a series of me just getting back on track and maybe that will motivate you if you're having little inspiration physically, mentally, emotionally, everything because I have been in this lull for like two weeks and I do not want it to continue. I actually have a Reiki healer coming over. Her name is Ashley. I thought, why not try it out? I've never tried it before. Consider this day one of Tiana getting back on track. Maybe that's what I'll call this video. It's good to start with a plan. That's what I've learned in my book, Atomic Habits. When you have a plan, you're a lot more successful. This is me sharing my feelings, sharing my plan, and marking this as day one. <laughs> Thank you, because I really appreciate the positive space we have here. I know I got to share a lot off of my chest, but I do want you to also feel like you can share with me what you're going through. So please leave me comments below or message me on Instagram and just share what's on 
on your mind, get whatever you need off your chest. We're all here to support you. I promise there is someone that watches my videos that wants to hear what you have to say and wants to be there for you because you guys are all so kind. It blows my mind how real, authentic, genuine, and sweet, how big all of your hearts are. And let's just get back on track. Second half of 2021, we're here, we got it, and we're gonna conquer it together. And please know you are not alone with anything you are going through. Your feelings are always valid, you are loved, you are so special, talented, smart, unique, you are you. And don't you ever forget that or let anyone dim your light. I got the place all ready, I lit the candles, here's my outfit, <laughs> she said to dress comfortably. I'm wearing this red shirt I thrifted and then I'm wearing these white sweatpants by Fabletics. My OOTD. Here's me in the light. <laughs> Good morning you guys. It's day two of getting back on track. Last night was the Reiki session and just the morning after I decided I'm gonna pick up the camera and just document my journey some more So I'm gonna make my bed because I feel like that key to getting back on track is making your bed first thing in the morning And then I'm going to try out the new skincare So of course I want to vlog that and show you guys make breakfast Also, I want to go get coffee at the curb because I actually don't have almond milk or any plant-based milk right now So I'm gonna go get my coffee. We just have a lot that we can do together today And I thought I would show you hope you enjoyed Enjoy this vlog and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and stopping by and supporting me I love each and every one of you so much and let's get on with our day <laughs> if you've been following me for a while then you know I love skincare by Hiram he is a Hawaii creator and he specializes in skincare he's the one that recommended to me the kale and green tea cleanser you all know I love and I recommend it to so many of you guys and then you guys have loved it he came out with his own skincare line and I have a bunch of the products here I'm so happy that he didn't go crazy with the packaging because I feel like a lot of influencers or people feel like they need to impress with packaging but we all know that that just ends up kind of going to waste I got the Centella and green tea cleanser. I'm assuming that these probably are similar, which would make me very happy because I loved this recommendation. This is green tea, green tea, so niacinamide, and I'm not sure what that's a different is. And I'm sorry, I'm on my iPhone, but I'll put like photos. The Retinol and Rainbow Algae Repair Serum gently targets post acne marks and hyperpigmentation, which I have clearly a lot of, so hopefully this will help. Salicylic acid and sea kelp pore clearing and oil control serum on all of the products It has a Sun and a moon. So this is a moon. So we won't be trying that just uh, Okay, whatever the moisturizer. Yes Sun and a moon. We can use this now Sun yay Okay, so we can use three of the four use in the AM after cleansing shake before use for faith for best for base <laughs> for best results use daily applying three to five drops when do we put on the moisturizer as I say, oh, use AM and PM after cleansing and serums. Okay, so cleansing, serum, and then moisturizer. Face is wet now. It says use AM and PM. Wet skin. All right. Oh, I'm assuming there's a seal. I remember he said in his video a blueberry size amount. This definitely feels a lot similar to. Oh. Mm hmm This is like the green tea cleanser that he recommended. He only wanted to make it sud so that you can see where you've applied it, but not so that it's super stripping. Now we try the pore clearing and oil control serum. So I'm gonna shake it. Three to five drops to the entire face. Wow, look at this applicator. Is it open? Wait, is it? No. I need it. Wait, I think it is open. And I also have a fuzz in my mouth. Oh, right. I remember he designed it so that you do have to squeeze a little bit hard so that the drops are more precise, which I love. Okay, so now we're just going to apply this to her. Did he come out with a, with a SPF? Ooh, it's nice and tacky. Next, this one also has one of those precise applicators. 
Mmm, I like how this feels. I really like this. And I'm so picky with moisturizers because I do have oily skin, so I just don't like feeling sticky and I'm such a sweaty person that just putting on moisturizer just never sounds fun for me. <laughs> this one just went right in. Day one of my skincare, but day two of getting back on track. So you can see, I'm breaking out. I'll take better photos so that we can, we can do like results before now. Let's get coffee now. That sounds good. Let's get coffee. Let's get coffee. <laughs> this is the outfit. I went with my classic like a cloud bra. Whenever I want to feel comfy but still look cute, this is what I go with. And they came out with new colors. I'll link it below for you guys. And these are my pants. I don't know where they're from. Super old, but I love the off white. We're rolling. Okay, I kind of want to get like a car tripod. Is that extra? <laughs> I feel like we're gonna be hanging a lot this summer. So did that sound like I have no friends? So yes, I should get a car tripod too. I do have some friends, but even if I didn't, that would be okay too. I know many of you like take inspiration from my videos and see me as like this happy, positive person. But the way I found a lot of my happiness and my positive energy is through detaching and cutting off those toxic relationships and friendships. You can be in a room full of people and feel completely lonely or you can be in your own room at home and just be alone but be alone in your own peace your own happiness on social media there's this pressure to always be hanging out with people always be out with others the larger the party the cooler i don't know you can sometimes mess with your head if you're an introverted person like me that's just coming back to my point of things opening back up those parties and those things are happening again and whether or not you are invited whether or not i'm invited to house parties i rather just not go but sometimes i do feel pressured to just say yes but moral of this drive is you don't have to say yes to everything that took me a long time to realize that you don't have to say yes to everything that's also what my reiki healer said last night and i was like you're right you don't have to say yes to everything and she told me that the more you people please the more you'll realize that even if you do please those people okay now what <laughs> what is that doing for you? How is that making you closer to the person you want to be or closer to reaching your goals? I just think it's important to feel comfortable being alone and feel comfortable taking yourself out on dates. That's another thing. In high school, I loved going to restaurants by myself, but for some reason, waiters and waitresses would sometimes make me feel bad about it and they'd be like, oh, do you want me to seat you in the back so, you know, basically no one sees that you're alone? I would be like, no, it's okay. Like, I just want to sit wherever is open because I'm hungry. I think we need to take away that stigma because I love going out by myself to eat because then there's no pressure to keep up with the person that you're eating with or to slow down to like match their rate to figure out when you can eat and when you can talk and I'm not sure if it's only me that thinks about all those things. I also feel very grateful and thank you guys because just filming and doing this vlog and whatever sharing my journey of getting back on track has already motivated me so much. It got me out of bed because I had the motivation to film and share my experience. So that got me out of bed because I was excited to do that. Let's do this. Iced macadamia nut milk latte.
to show you guys an update on the Zen Zone. I added this black pad that my dad gave me to have underneath my yoga mat just to add a little bit more support on top of the tile. I added this chakra hanging that I got from Eric. Let me know what you guys think and leave suggestions below. I know the plant is crooked. I will fix that. <laughs> for a quick lunch. Now I'm at Manoa Marketplace to ship all of these packages. There's a lot in here. If you don't already follow my clothing Instagram account, I'm gonna put the username over here. It's just at thriftiana. And speaking of following Instagram accounts, you should follow a secret account of mine, which I'll also put here. And yeah, I'm not gonna say too much, but something's coming soon. Something's coming soon. Something's coming soon. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful and I just can't wait for it to come out! Hello! <laughs> I just got picked up by Gabe and he's gonna take me to 5pm Sculpt. Tiana getting back on track. I just got home and now I'm gonna end today's vlog. Bye bye, thank you so much for watching day two of me getting back on track and I'll see you next time for another vlog. Bye bye!